you are just not capable of being a good partner when you are watching porn. When you watch porn, you are desensitizing yourself to real beauty. Being addicted to porn made me a horrible girlfriend. If you're new here, I'm Ahana. I help people overcome porn addiction. I help people whose partners are watching porn. I talk about masculinity, femininity, relationship dynamics, a little bit of everything, spirituality, God, the whole nine yards. In today's video, we're gonna talk about one of the most important reasons to stop watching porn, and that is to protect your future relationship or to save your current relationship. You are just not capable of being a good partner when you are watching porn. You, it's just impossible to do that. Porn has a similar effect on a relationship as cheating does. And at this point, I consider watching porn a form of cheating. So if you are a guy or if you're a girl and you're addicted to porn, you need to humble yourself a little bit and understand that your partner deserves better. <laughs> They deserve so much better than what you're giving them. And if you're not in a relationship, then this is the perfect opportunity for you to prepare yourself to be a good husband or a good wife or a good girlfriend or a good boyfriend. Take this time when you're single to really clean yourself up so that you can protect your future relationship and so that you can protect your future partner from the damage that porn is going to inevitably cause if you continue to watch it. Porn addiction is one of the biggest reasons for why people get divorced. The pain that comes with porn addiction is very, very real. So first of all, I want you to first acknowledge that it's an issue and I want you to really be honest with yourself on how your porn addiction is affecting your partner or how it might affect your future partner. Let me tell you a little story about what I was like as a girlfriend when I was addicted to porn. I was no longer able to feel fully attracted to my boyfriend at the time. I was not able to appreciate him fully. During intimacy, I hate, this is like absolutely awful to admit this, but during intimacy, I would have to imagine porn in my head during intimate moments rather than being present with my partner. And this is something that I have learned is very common with people who are addicted to porn. Um, at this point, I have talked to over 275 people one-on-one -on -one about their porn addictions. And this is like kind of true across the board. I've heard it from many men who say that they are not able to stay aroused during sex with their girlfriends or with their wives. And in order to stay aroused, they have to imagine porn. And this is really, really sad. And, you know, there's no judgment. I was the same exact way, so I know exactly how it is. But, you know, at the time, I I had to come to terms with the ugly truth that I was a terrible partner at that time because it's unfair. It's totally unfair to be intimate with someone who's being fully present with you, who's giving you their body, and here you are imagining something else in your head. This is a very, very strong disconnection that can be felt by the other person. Even if they don't know consciously what's going on, subconsciously, they're gonna be able to feel you being disconnected from them. And that disconnection is going to play out as a, as a cold feeling. You know, you might feel like your partner's being cold towards you. You might, you're just gonna feel disconnected from them. And if you leave this unaddressed, that disconnection is going to grow deeper and deeper and deeper until it ultimately leads to the end of the relationship. I've also heard from so many men who say that when they stopped watching porn, it was almost as if their girlfriends and wives became more beautiful to them. And it's not the women that are changing, it's the man's mind that is changing. And I felt this for myself too. When you watch porn, you are desensitizing yourself to real beauty. You're conditioning yourself to appreciate a very fake, exaggerated form of beauty. And seeing so many naked people all the time, if you're doing it every day like that and you're masturbating to it, you're literally conditioning yourself away 
from receiving the full beauty of the person who you're actually with. And this is so sad, you guys. Your porn addiction is causing your partner to feel inadequate. It's causing them to feel not good enough. It's causing them to feel second best. And I regret the impact that my porn addiction had on my past relationships, on my past partners. This was not fair to them, you know? And it's, you know, thank God I got out of that because at this point I know I, I know what I would want in a relationship and I want to make sure that I'm able to deliver the same thing that I expect out of a man and that is, you know, his full attention. I want to make sure that the man I'm with has the ability to receive my full beauty and not compare it to the women he's watching in porn. And by the same token, I want to make sure that my mindset is in a way where I can receive the fullness of the man I'm with and not be thinking of other people <laughs> and comparing him. You know, it's just not a good thing to do. It's not fair and it's very, very selfish and it's very disrespectful. Stop doing that if you're doing that. And if you have been justifying your actions to your partner, you got to apologize. You got to say sorry and you need to come to terms with the fact that you are the one who's broken and you need to fix yourself. My past partners deserved better than what I was giving them. They deserved so much better. And the thing about porn addiction is that for most of the, for most people, if they're ashamed of it, a lot of times we're not honest about it. A lot of times when you're in the midst of addiction, you're not going to be honest with your partner about the fact that you're watching it, probably because you feel ashamed. And it it was not good, you know? And I take full responsibility for that. And you have to take full responsibility for what you might be, for the pain that you might be causing your par your partner or the pain that you might cause your future partner. You have to understand that there is literally nothing more important in life than your relationships. And for a lot of people, they use porn as a substitute for real relationships. This is going to leave you feeling very empty inside over time. And it's going to eat away at your soul. And if you let it go on long enough, you're gonna end up old and alone. <laughs> and that's just the ugly truth, you guys. I don't want to see that happen to any of you and I thank God every day for helping to bring me out of that porn addiction. Luckily I managed to get out of it and I've been able to you know just totally transform my heart and transform my mind and at this point I'm confident in my ability to be a good partner but part of being a good partner is understanding when it's better to not subject someone else to your dysfunction and this is a very very hard pill to swallow you know it's easy to be selfish in relationships like i i've seen a few comments that have been left lately on some of my other videos talking about why i'll never choose a man who watches porn and um what to do when your boyfriend tells you that he's watching porn uh, there were some comments left on these videos i saw this morning there was one woman who was talking about how her boyfriend's been gaslighting her into believing that porn is a perfectly normal thing. And he's been telling her that she's insecure and that she should just get over it and that she's being jealous for no reason. You guys, this is evil. It's absolutely evil to do that to another human being. They don't deserve that. And if, you know, when the time comes for me to be in a relationship in the future, if by some crazy happening I end up a deep in porn addiction again, I hope that my man will leave me. I hope that he won't tolerate that. I hope that he won't put up with that. I hope that whoever I end up with is going to have enough self-respect to not allow himself to be subjected to my own dysfunctional patterns. Having true love for someone is wanting the best for them. And if you are caught up in porn addiction, if you are watching porn, and if your partner is telling you that it's hurting them and that they don't like that you're doing it and you keep justifying it, you don't really love them. You don't actually care about them. You're selfish and you want to have your cake and eat it too. You would rather have what you want than will the good for someone else 
and that is not love. And so you have to really be honest with yourself and ask yourself if you're truly loving that person. Real love is when you want what's best for the other person. And knowing what I know about the way porn was affecting my ability to love, it destroyed my ability to love in the past, I could never put up with that in a relationship. And I would never want a man to put up with that with me if, if I ever, which will never happen, you guys, but if by some crazy chance I end up falling back into porn addiction, I hope that my man, my future man will, you know, I would not want him to, I, I, would, they would, I would be a very selfish person to expect him to stay with me while I'm caught up in that. And so if you are a man and you're expecting your girlfriend to stay with you while you're caught up in this addiction, you have to come to terms with your own selfishness and understand that your addiction is causing someone else to be in a lot of pain. And if you really love them, you will let them go or you'll just stop watching it and salvage your relationship. And like I said, if you're single right now, this is literally the perfect time for you to get this together so that you can give your best to your future love when he or she does come into your life. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one sessions, I do help people with this issue. If you're someone whose partner is watching porn, I also offer um, sessions to help you out as well. You can visit the link in the description box below. You can book a session with me through my email. Um, I also have an entire video course available telling you the exact steps um, that I took to stop watching porn for good. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check out these videos right here. They're gonna help you out a lot.